Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo and these are my views in fewer than two. Blue Sky, this this app, this protocol, this whatever the hell you call it that was kicked up by Jack of Twitter, uh, formerly of Twitter, back when he was still at Twitter. Money, millions has been thrown at Blue Sky and media have been talking about Blue Sky as a Twitter alternative. But let me tell you, now that I finally have access to it, thanks to Scott Beal of Laughing Squid, I'm not that impressed, like, at all. I mean, it's it's like Twitter, but it's Spartan. It's limited. The feature set is just not there. There's no discoverability. And quite honestly, even though they just released an Android app, it is not great, the, the Android app itself. And I'd go as far as to say the iOS app can't be that much different because, again, the features just aren't there. So if you've seen Blue Sky floating across your feed, don't be too excited about jumping into it because I believe this may very well be a proof of concept, as in the app itself may not be around indefinitely. They're trying to build it as a protocol, which would make it kind of an alternative more to Mastodon than to Twitter. Mastodon, in my humble opinion, is superior in just about every way, and you can you can use it today, and it is absolutely usable. In fact, there was a controversy with Mastodon recently where it, the default app experience pushes you to mastodon.social, which is where I'm, I'm currently running my Mastodon account. Love Mastodon way more than I love Twitter, far more engagement than I see on Twitter on a regular basis, but I still use Twitter too. Uh, it's always good to have competition with Blue Sky, uh, but I feel that it's difficult to know if you spread yourself too thin with social, so if you see the invite, feel free to jump aboard, but if you're looking for a Twitter alternative, you're better off with Mastodon than anything else today.